Mean, Median, and Range, presented by Picrustable. Today, we're going to use the information from the NASA publication called Space Weather Math, worksheet number 85. This publication is actually free, and if you look at the notes below, you can copy and paste the address and get it yourself. The individual worksheet is also available, so see the notes below so you can copy and paste to get those too. Sunspots are a sign that the sun is in a stormy state. Scientists use many different kinds of measurements to track this storm activity. In this video and downloadable rook street, you're going to learn how to use some of them. An astronomer counts sunspots for five days and gets the following sequence. What is the maximum or largest number of sunspots? So what I'm looking for is the largest number in my sequence. And that's 198. What is the minimum or smallest number of sunspots? So we're looking for the smallest number in our sequence. That's 136. What is the range or difference in the number of sunspots? Remember, difference means subtraction. So we're going to take the largest number, 198, minus the smallest number, 136, and it turns out that the range is 62. What is the mean or average number of sunspots? For this one, we're actually going to add all of our numbers up first. So we're going to take 149 plus 136 plus 198 plus 152 plus 145. And it turns out it adds up to 780. The next job we have to do is divide 780 by the number of numbers we have. So what does that mean? Well, we're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have five numbers. So we're going to take 780 divided by 5. So it turns out that our mean is 156. What is the median or middle number of the sunspots? The first thing we need to do is write the numbers in numerical order. I like to write them from smallest to largest. So we'll have 136, 145, 149, 152, and 198. The next step is to cross off from both ends until we can't cross off anymore. So let's do that. Crossing off, crossing off, and it turns out that 149 is our median. That's our very middle number. A solar flare occurs when magnetic energy that is built up in the solar atmosphere is suddenly released. An astronomer counts solar flares for eight days and gets the following sequence. What is the maximum or largest number of solar flares? So we're going to look and find the largest number, which is 13. What is the minimum or smallest number of solar flares? Well, it turns out that's three. What is the range or difference in the number of solar flares? Well, we're going to take the largest number, 13, minus the smallest number, 3, and it turns out that our range is 10. What is the mean or average number of solar flares? Remember, we're going to add up our numbers first. 7 plus 4 plus 13 plus 5 plus 10 plus 3 plus 6 plus 12, and that's going to give us 60. So now what we have to do is we have to divide 60 by the number of numbers we have. So let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're going to take 60 divided by 8, and that turns out to be 7.5. So our mean is 7.5. What is the median or middle number of the solar flares? Now remember for this one, we need to write them in numerical order. And I like to go from smallest to largest. So let's do that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 12, 13. Yeah, that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cross off from both ends until we get to the very middle number. Cross off, cross off, cross off. Oh my goodness, we have two numbers in the middle. When this happens, what we're going to do is find their average. So we're going to add them up, 6 plus 7, which is 13, and divide by 2. 
So 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. This is actually our median. It's the very middle number. Thank you, and be sure to download the free worksheet from NASA linked below.